Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, welcome back to Oblivion, where last time, I became the Guildmaster of the Thieves' Guilds. Admittedly, I'm still somewhat fuzzy on how, precisely, given, yes, it would appear the, um, the Count of Anvil used an Elder Scroll to mess with history, meaning he gets to be the Count of Anvil again, and I'm the Grey Fox, meaning... I inherit the Cursed Cowl of Nocturnal, but it's not cursed anymore, meaning I can put it on to become the Grey Fox and take it off to not be the Grey Fox anymore, but I took it off and uh, the Guards of Anvil kept trying to kill me anyway. So, uh, okay, might need to do some investigation into how that works at some point. The point is, uh, I'm a Guildmaster, which is marvellous news. But you know what's better than being a Guildmaster? It's being a Guildmaster of two separate guilds, so, okay, how about we turn our attention back to the bloody Dark Brotherhood, who apparently all have to die. Ah yes, one important thing to check on the way though, which is, right now my vampirism is only level 1. So okay, anyone with a pair of eyes can still see, I have clearly got vampire eyes. They are red and yellow, I am a vampire but my cheekbones are soft and nice and lovely. So, in which case... Dear local shopkeeper, do you hate, fear and despise me, or are you willing to do business with me, as long as I'm not, you know, too pointy? A pleasure to speak with you. Okay, so it's only high levels of vampirism, they start getting a bit twitchy. Okay, but here's something new. I've been in various towns where an oblivion gate spawned outside, and uh, yes, people just don't seem to care. But for some reason, the people of this town, they've got a new option. I don't know where it came from, but a mysterious gate appeared outside the walls of our city. The way the guards are reacting, it must be a threat. They're massing as if bracing for an attack. The portal is just outside the city walls, through the west gates, if you want to see for yourself. Okay, that's... Okay. That's interesting. That just started a new mission. I don't know why, but for some reason, yes. Despite the fact that every single town on this damn continent has Oblivion Gates spawning outside it, this one is uh, special. And I don't know why. Alright, just a mosey on up the uh, west side of town, uh, right here, and by the Luxie of it. I mean, it looks pretty normal to me. In fact, actually, yes, this one is uh, much better guarded uh, than usual, because uh, you're actually bothering to go over and say hello to it. About two days ago, Count Indaris' son, Farwill, entered the Oblivion Gate with six other men. We haven't heard from them since then. The Count fears the worst, and has posted guards here so we can watch and see if anyone comes back out. And so far, nothing. At this point, Count Indaris is offering a reward for the recovery of his son from inside the gate, or confirmed news of his demise. The Knights of the Thorn are a bunch of rabble who fancy themselves true knights. Farwheel formed the group around two years ago. They make grand boasts and talk a good talk, but that's all they are. The real work goes to us, the city guard. I hate to speak ill of them, as something horrible may have happened. But their own bravado got them into this mess. Okay, so these knights are a bunch of completely useless posers who like to think they're amazing awesome heroes. Oh, I love them already. They're going to be my new best friends. Well, I shan't say no to another lovely Sigil Stone. Let's get in there and see what's going on. Okay, well, step one, literally a couple of steps from the gate, this guy died immediately. So uh, you would have thought at that point they would just turn back straight away, realizing this was just a terrible, terrible idea. But um, apparently not. Apparently they decided to push on despite the immediate murder of one of their friends. Also, that's worth thinking about. I don't recognize this map, and I would have thought I'd have seen all of them by now, suggesting this might be a special, unique map just for this here mission. So, okay, we got one boob spider as needs taken out. Come on, just, just hold still. Hold still for one second, please. Yeah, we appear to be slowly making our way down a hill, and uh, I have not seen this before, so okay, unique special bit of oblivion right here. And while I'm pretty sure with my acrobatics I could make it down, uh, yes, this cliff pretty easily, 
I feel like I better actually explore this place properly. Just in case, you know, uh, the Count's son is down in... Oh, the bowels. Everybody wants to go down into the bowels. That sounds like a lovely place to explore. Okay, no sign of the lads we're looking for, but one more Knight of the Thorn down here. Nothing too dramatic going on, to be honest. He came in with, uh, yes, um, armored feet and uh, no other armor. This guy made terrible decisions. Right, outside, number three accounted for. That's half the bastards. Gotcha. Okay, some good news, some bad news. The bad news is uh, there are many, many towers, like at least five uh, ahead of me. The good news is uh, some of these idiots aren't dead yet, and I'm quite frankly amazed. It's about time someone got here. What took you so long? Right, I'm guessing you're the Count's son. Yes, Indris, that rings a bell. So you and your idiot friends are now trapped in a hell, and ideally, I'd like you to just leave. I'll take care of the Sigil Stone. I set out with the rest of the knights to dispatch this blemish on the face of our fine world. When we arrived, we were overwhelmed. I myself was able to kill perhaps two score of them, but they just kept coming. Only Bremen and I remain alive. However, with you here now, we can take the Sigil Stone from that citadel and complete our quest for the good of all Chadenhall. Huzzah! You know what? I kind of like this guy, actually. Are you mad? A Knight of the Thorn never returns home until the mission is done. It's our way. Now, in my father's name as Count Indorus of Chadenhall, I order you to lead me to that sigil stone. I suggest we use the Raymond Sweep Formation. You'll assault and we'll guard the rear flank. Onward and upward! Huzzah! I like this guy. Me and him can be friends. Oh no, hang on. They are actually following me. Oh no. Okay, bare minimum. Me and... Oh bloody hell, there's another one of their number. Dear, oh bloody dear. So he's dead too. Okay, just draw an enemy forward. They are... Oh, they're not holding back actually. They're just going straight in. So, okay, just one at a time. As far as we can. Keep the prince alive. Okay, just get over here. Hit one of them with an arrow. Weaken them as far as we can. Please don't charge forward. Okay, you're going to die and the count is going to be really bloody annoyed. Okay, please stop running forward. Okay, these enemies seem a bit on the weak side. We're okay for now. But yeah, I'd say the moment we get inside, all we want to do is distract the enemy. Don't actually, you know, try and fight or win or anything. I just need a, a distraction. So how about Skeleton Champion? All right, those guys, uh, they've got shields. They are very good defensively. Tiny bit more expensive to summon, but I think they'll do the job a bit better. As for me, weapons away. If we can just get to, yes, the next door, these guys will probably teleport to catch up with me and enemies won't attack them if they're not in the same cell. I am brilliant. Okay, toss down the skeleton. Draw some attention. Get the flip out of dodge. Rending halls. Now, are they going to be with me? They are with me. Brilliant. So, okay, all I need to do is just keep going from area to area. Summon. Move straight on. All right. Straight up to the next. And if I just keep moving from area to area, they catch up with me automatically. And then they're... I think his friend might be dead, actually. Okay, aside from that, aside from that small, small issue, this is going very well. Oh, yeah, this guy's actually, um... He's almost dead. Okay, um, we can't do the usual speed strat. It's not gonna function. We've already lost one of them. We can't lose this guy. I'm sorry, you're important, by which I mean your dad might give me something nice if I keep you alive. Oh, never mind. His friend's okay, apparently. Right, new plan. Um, uh, we're going to use a convalescence to keep you going, buddy. All right, you need to live. There we go. Look at that. Lovely full health bar. The problem's gonna be, yeah, the Citadel doors. Because sometimes you've just got slow doors where I can't just run ahead to the next thing. So as a result of that, we're going to need to be very careful. Okay, hang on. On this occasion, 
I think I might be able to just make it straight to the next door. Here we go. Back to... No, that's another slow door. That's another slow door, which means I now need to um, get involved, actually. So, no. No, 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 no. That's your summon dead. And, okay, I think possibly the enemies here are a bit flimsier than some other enemies are. But we're okay. Blunt is being drained. You guys are... You guys lose health in a hurry. This is a blood fountain. You drink from it, or possibly... Actually, I don't know what you do with it. Maybe you drink from it? I'm not actually sure. Just keep moving up, okay? We have got to keep the kid... No. No, no, no. If there's more to go up, we're going up more. Presumably. That's for the better. So, yes, another... Oh, there's so many slow doors. The game was wise to my stupid speed strategy. Okay, it knew this was... Oh, bloody hell, what is that? Okay, that's just a basic ladder. Now we go back to the Chaos Stronghold together. This is going to be fine. Straighten up, guys. Straighten up. No, no, no. Ignore all that. There we go. That's the Sigilum Sanguis. So just get up here. Are we okay? Uh-oh. Where's... Where's the Count's son? There he is. He was out here in the corridor, but it's all fine. Just get over to here. We're all going to help out. It's all going to be... Oh, bloody hell. No, 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 no. Attack me. Not the Count's son, please. Not the Count's son. Okay. Enemies taken care of. Are you okay? Just. Only bloody just. Okay, guys. Can we... We can wait an hour. Wait one hour. We will all get... I think I just became more vampire -y. Are you guys okay with that? They don't seem to be attacking me yet. It's all fine. Also, I am basically out of charge. Okay, if you guys are at full health, here's what we're going to do right now. We're going back over to the speed plan. I'm going to activate, yes, some form of a zoom spell. I'm going to get the stone, draw as much attention as I can, and then we GTFO. Okay? Guys, stay here. Do not get involved. It's going to be fine. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to do some looting on the way past. And... Ooh. I don't know whether that helps me in any way. But I'll flip and take it because Master Gear is nice. Just top this up too. Just everybody pay attention to me. Everybody on me. If you'd be so kind. Grab the thing. Please don't kill the Count's son. Alright, it's his first day. And... Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Game, get me out of here. Game, get me out of here. And... It hasn't told me I failed. I think we've flipping done it. Farwell has been saved. And if we're lucky, so's his best friend. So, okay, hang about. Oh, I got them both. Yes! We made it. Uh, I mean, victory is ours once again. Huzzah! You've done well. I wouldn't have expected such bravery from someone who isn't a Knight of the Thorn. Now that this battle between good and evil has been won, and the day is ours, you should go speak with my father. He will reward you greatly for escorting me home and closing the Oblivion Gate. Since you have led us to victory, I am hereby giving you the honorary title of a Knight of the Thorn. Your name shall be revered, and your deeds placed into song to be performed by the greatest bards for generations to come. Congratulations. And there we go. I am now in... Is this my third Night Sorter? Because I'm in the Knights of the... What is it? The Pilgrim thing I'm doing. And I'm a Knight of the White Stallion. And now I'm a Knight of the Thorn too. Brilliant. As a Knight of the Thorn, you are now expected to carry this symbol of your knighthood. Carry it proudly and wear it well. And I get myself, ooh, a medallion. I wonder if it's terrible because your knightly order is terrible. Oh, that's super cute. It doesn't make you better at fighting or anything. It just makes you better at speechcraft because all they do is talk. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, and here's fun, by the way. I have drawn a second shock damage. So, okay, shock damage 25 points. That is literally a duplicate of what I've already got. So... Right, next time I find some good glass gear, it's time to just go over completely to this, assuming the charges are reasonable. Okay, over to the castle, and yes, I really hope at this point, the Count is basically just going to apologise to me for his idiot son. I'm pleased to finally meet the saviour of Chadenhall. I'm also overjoyed that you saved my son's life. I realise he's trying at times, and he speaks before he thinks. But he's still my son. 
and I adore him greatly. I'm sure he was difficult to travel with, and I respect your patience. Most would have given him up for dead, rather than deal with his ego. Anyway, I digress. I'm sure you wish to hear of your reward. I'm in possession of two fine weapons. They're both heirlooms of the Indaris family, held in the castle for several generations. I'd take great pleasure in bestowing one of them upon you. Please, choose the Thornblade or the Staff of Indaris. Okay, so... Thornblade or Staff of Indaris. I have no way of knowing what either of these do. I've got a really good Staff of Paralysis. Am I ever going to want another Staff? I don't know. Some of them could be really good, to be honest, but they are also uh, heavy. I will take the Thorn Blade purely because I'm now a Knight of the Thorn and it's got the better name. The Thorn Blade it is. Again, I thank you on behalf of all the citizens of Chadenhall, and I especially thank you as an elated father. Okay, you know what? That was actually quite a sweet little speech right there. Oh, you know what? That's actually kind of interesting. So, right, Blade one handed comes with a really, really strong disintegrator armor effect. So, wax on with that. They are going to be a lot flimsier going forward. Like, it weighs a ton. I won't be carrying it around all the time. But, if I come across, yes, a very heavily armored tough opponent, that could actually be rather useful. Also, I'm now a vampire level 2, so the world is kind of blurry and I'm taking a lot of damage. So, okay, better go and feed before we go any further, though, actually. That depends where I'm going next. If the next place I'm going is straight over here to kill my old dear friends, then potentially, being a super strong level 2 vampire, that might actually be useful. Also worth checking... Level 2 Vampire, are you still willing to talk to me? Thank you for closing the Oblivion Gate. We all took heart when we heard the news. Okay, answer turns out to be yes, brilliant. Okay, bare minimum, I need my weapons to actually have some charge before we attempt to assassinate a room of people who are really, really good at murder. And also, it would be remiss of me not to go and visit, yes indeed, the Knight's Headquarters, so I can sleep in any bed of my choosing. They do have a, a dog. Excellent. But I'm not allowed to sleep in the fancy bed upstairs. I'm guessing that's Farwell's. Gotcha. Okay, game, give me nine hours so I could go outside without catching on fire. And now, very quickly, we are going to, yes, top up my lovely, lovely weaponry. Anything out in the wild should do the job. Here we go. At this level, Minotaurs are just showing up, like, constantly. That's some nice, easy soul right there. Oh, and bloody hell, here's a nice coincidence. I was just looking for, you know, more wolves, etc. to murder. And uh, would you believe, uh, right bloody here, the one time I'm not looking for it, we have finally got new elven gauntlets. And on top of that, a brand new glass bow. Okay, so right now I'm wearing, yes, these bloody gauntlets I've been wearing for bloody ever. That boosts agility 10 points. Even without them, yes, my agility is almost at 100. So, as a result of that, yes, basically, I may as well move those over to something more useful. Marksman is currently at 82, approaching 83. So an extra 10 in Marksman on them would definitely help me out a bit. But there are other options too. In particular, yes, boosting Magicka. Right now at 224, a little bit more wouldn't hurt. But I feel like, yes, my day-to-day -day actual damage dealing is currently Marksman. And these aren't going to be forever. At some point, we'll go over to Glass Armor. When that happens, these will go in the bin. So I'd say 10 Marksman, not going to be a bad investment. Welcome to the rotation, string me along. Oh, and there we go. Finally, a full set of Elven gear, aside from the helmet, which we still can't bloody find. But to be honest, the cow does give me yet more Marksman. Put all that together, and now we're functionally at, yes, Marksman 97. So, okay, Marksman 97, Agility 96. We are pretty much as strong as we get with bows now. Brilliant. And speaking of bows, okay. So, 
this thing right now is uh, fully charged and I get 51 uses out of it for 18 points of shock damage. However, I can't help but notice, yes indeed, I can do better than that. So pick the glass bow and that will get me 70 uses. That's, that's more uses for more damage. I'm keeping the name though, okay? The name is too good to give up. Ah, yes, and now I see them side by side. The difference is, yes, obviously it is actually more charge per shot, but it doesn't matter because, oh, I say it doesn't matter. Oh, that's actually going to be harder to keep topped up, isn't it? Like, I get more charges, but it's going to take more. Oh, that could potentially be a problem, actually. And one thing that did occur to me as well, the feather. As I am just sitting on a lovely gold diamond ring right now, if I just, you know, keep that in my inventory, if I am ever over capacity, put that on 125 extra pounds of carry capacity. So, okay. As this ring is now sworn to carry my burdens, welcome to the team, Lydia. Okay, but before we begin the murder, first things first, I actually have a mission in my journal suggesting... There might be some follow-up with this lads. Ah, it's not about me and him having a lovely vampire party. It's about a cure if I decide I want to change my mind. So, okay, I'm glad we had this conversation before I murdered you. A cure? Yes. Yes, I believe it's possible. A mage named Raminus Polus has done some research. He's in the Imperial City at the Arcane University. Oh, me and him aren't necessarily on good terms. Like, approximately a year ago, he sent me to, uh, yes, discover the secret of Black Soul Gems so we could destroy it forever because it was evil. And instead, I just started using Black Soul Gems. Like, a lot. So, okay, I might need to buy him some flowers before we approach the cure for vampirism thing. Still, let's not worry about a cure just yet because... Yes, indeed. If I just have a little nap so right nice. now, there we flipping go. Vampirism added, meaning we're up to level three. And oh, I flipping love it. Okay, I love how being a vampire makes you feel so damn strong. Okay, it's time to come up with a planner here. So right now, some of these guys are asleep, despite the fact it's, yeah, two in the afternoon. So okay, you are currently drinking. You're not actually, yes, eating. Eating would be good. Poisoned apples uh, might let me take someone else out, though. Actually, that is a good point. I noticed something interesting when I was robbing the place the other day, which is, uh, yes, this lovely lady. Inside her chest, she's got a giant pile of ingredients. Nothing too suspicious, but there's garlic here. And I remember seeing a note long, long, long ago from my vampire buddy downstairs saying, yes, he's got a problem with garlic. So he might be the best person to take out first. Also, this guy, he's just constantly changing out his bloody weapons and armor. If we're going to start assassinating these guys, start with the isolated one. So I am so, so sorry. So, step one, we want to be, yes, dumping something onto his body. Specifically, hang about, yes, garlic. Just one should do the job, weighs nothing, so we should be able to, there we go. He's now got garlic in his pocket. Next up, go over to my blunt melee weapon, and uh, good night, Vicente. Go and just finish him off. He's a vampire, he's a vampire, he's a vampire. Flame damage is highly effective. Brilliant. Oh, and he's also got something that's rather interesting. The long sword of shattering. So, okay, I've got one sword that disintegrates armor and another that disintegrates weaponry. You know what? I'll just be having that, actually. Now, does everybody know he's dead? Because, yes, back in the murder mystery house, everyone just sort of figured out that murders were happening. They may or may not know that we're already, uh, yes, in a murder scenario. So, Achiever, who is unfortunately not here. And she does sometimes go down to, oh, 
speak of the devil. I right, Achiever, how are you feeling about your friend achieve. being dead? Okay, good. Nothing. Completely normal conversation. Now, is anyone around in this area? There's the skeleton, but nothing else now. Okay, she's going into her room. Brilliant. Just shut the door one by one. Don't need this to turn into a complete slaughter unless it has to, though. Oh, the barrel. I am That's where she door. gets food from. So, okay, don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me. If we're very lucky, yeah, we can do the same thing. So just hit her. And before she gets up proper, we should be able to... There we go. There we go. Now, this has turned into a full-on fight, but she's on her own. Job done. No shouting or anything else. That's her dead too. And uh, okay. There's a note. I'm going to feel really bad, by the way, if the note is, Hey, I really, really like Arya. She's such a nice addition to the Brotherhood. How about we throw her a surprise party tomorrow? So, okay, a note from another assassin to Achiva. Basically saying he's going to travel around and spy on various ships going in and out of the Imperial City. Alright, nothing too dramatic there, just orders are going back and forth. So, okay, two members down... But things at some point might get a bit tricky. The skeleton is not murdering me yet. I don't know who actually, like, owns the skeleton or who summoned it. But presumably when they go down... Okay, this lad. He's going to be a problem, I think. Because he's wearing proper big armor. But I tell you what, I've picked the right moment for this. Everybody is isolated. Alright, because you worry me a bit, buddy. I'd say what we're going to do is... Uh, yeah. Crack out the good poison. Damage health, 7 points for 27 seconds. And go. Okay, that's him pretty damaged, but that's fine. Because I've got other toys too. Staff of Paralysis. Let's get you down on the ground, buddy. And now, go over to my whacking stick. And by the time he gets back up again, he's going to be almost dead. And there we go, lovely. So a full set of uh, ebony gear, obviously. Took me 10 million cocking years uh, to get my elven gear together. This guy's just giving me the heavy stuff. Still, I'll say that's a good weight to value ratio on some boots. I say that, I am going to be overweight if I take them. Okay, three down, a certain number to go. I can't remember how many or so. Does the skeleton count? Because I feel like he shouldn't actually. I feel like the skeleton just, you know... Uh, works here. Like, the rat who's a pet and, uh, oh dear. Okay, some people might be about to, um, start finding some corpses. You're staying down here. Let's keep an eye on her. You're the one I'm suddenly worried about, because you might be about to start finding some corpses then again, actually. This might be the last opportunity to get you down. Are you on your own? No, there's the shopkeeper. Okay, let's go after, uh, what's-her-face. Is there anything you need? There is actually, but I'm going to be honest, you're not going to like it. Oh, yep, yeah, she's about to find a corpse. Things might be about to start getting nasty. Or not, maybe they didn't like each other. Okay, never mind. She's just um chilling out here in full sight of the corpse. Doesn't seem too fast, so in which case, you are barely armoured in the slightest. You're going to be going down in no time. A bit of blocking. I'm trapped by the bench now. And in just one second, my light arm is actually going up, so that's nice. Down you go. Right, we've almost taken them. Take all of her keys, etc, etc. Nothing but the shop. And the last lizards. Oh, and he's got some more apples. So, okay, I will take as many apples as I can afford. I can't afford them. Okay, can you do me a slightly better deal, potentially? And you're going to need to do better than that, actually. There we go. Just, just got three. Now, presumably, he's not much of an assassin. So, just stay out of the way and... Is the rat about to snitch on me? That would be hilarious, but... Okay, just sort you out and... Okay. Oh, he's coming in. He's got magic. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. This is... This is where things get a bit nasty. Okay, this is fine. I am very, very good at staying alive. Okay, so do some of that. And on top of that too, don't forget. We actually brought ourselves... Yes, Rufio's ghost. 
So get that in play. And I am losing health in a hurry, actually. He was a lot tougher than I thought he was going to be. Okay, this time, keep in mind, this guy, tough cookie, apparently. So, okay, he's about to go invisible. That's fine. I am about to summon Rufio's ghost to just get out of here. I don't know where the shop is at the moment. Rufio's ghost, go! So, here we go. Now, I've got my shield up. Rufio's ghost is around. Rufio's ghost is... He planned to assist Rufio's ghost. I feel like Rufio's ghost isn't contributing as much as I was hoping for. He's he's really not actually doing that much a, at all. And, okay, I feel like that was mostly me, to be honest. Also, are me and you okay, Rufio? He is surprisingly chill with me under the circumstances. Okay, crucially, yes. Can I keep the pets alive? Because you, buddy, you don't seem to be attacking me. And... Hang on, where's the shop gone? He was in here somewhere, right? Ah, here we go. He practices magic on occasion and doesn't seem to be particularly fussed by the corpses. So, all right, buddy, this appears to be... It may or may not be the last one. Possibly the skeleton does have to die. You, buddy, should be no problem whatsoever. There's no armor here. There's no anything. All he could do is go invisible. Any chance you've actually got the, um, rest of the... He does not have the rest of the apples on him. Well, that's just a bloody shame. So, okay, hang about. Who's... Who's left? Oh, the note I found. Oh, bloody hell. One of them's elsewhere in the world. So, okay, hang on. What day is it today? It is Loridas. Oh, he's all the bloody way down in Leowin. He's going to be there tomorrow, too. So, okay... Spy on all vessels entering the Imperial Province by sea. So that suggests tomorrow he's still going to be there anyway. So I need to track this bastard down. In three days, however, you'll be back at the Chadena Hall of Bridge Inn. Spy on the citizens. You know what? Might be easier just to wait for this individual right here. Then again, the game does say they're going to report to Sanctuary. If they find everybody dead, that might be a problem. But speaking of problems, oh bloody hell, now it's the daytime. So I've got to wait to travel safely to Layer Wings. I can't fast travel while taking damage, and I'm going to take damage all the time outside. Oh bloody hell. Right, that's where I need to drink off my powers. I need to find someone who's asleep. Somebody might still be asleep. Oh, it's actually 7 p.m. So, okay, in just an hour, I'll be able to fast travel anyway. So, that's fine. Okay, we've made it. It's night. I'm not taking damage. Brilliant. Seeing you again is like a blessing from the night mother herself. Oh, and I think I've literally just run into the person I was looking for. Okay, I did not realize you were an assassin. The problem I've got here is I can't just, you know, assassinate her in public. If I do, because nobody knows who's an assassin and who isn't, the guards are presumably going to mine. Wait, hang on. She's not wearing armor! John, you absolute cocky genius, you have got an arrow that is guaranteed to kill under all circumstances if the target isn't wearing armor. Taking on, you know, people who are in disguise right now. Oh, you bloody genius. Just need to get behind her so she doesn't see it coming. And please stop walking towards the guards. You're making my life really bloody difficult right now. Okay, here we go. This will do. And... Okay, I feel like that, that should have killed you, but it didn't for some reason. Okay, just, just don't mind me. Don't mind me. This is just a small assassin issue. Just internal guild politics. Don't worry about it. And okay, before we go anywhere else, actually, that is a good thought. Because uh, while I'm down this end of Cyrodiil, well, one, find someone to nibble on. I no longer need my ridiculous over-the-top vampire powers. Resentia, she bloody owes me one for dealing with the whole staff situation. Just gonna have the tiniest, tiniest nibble on her, and we'll call it even. Brilliant. Step two, return to Braville on the way past because, yes, I apparently have a slightly unspecified bounty in Anvil. Oh, apparently it was literally only 20 gold. Magnificent. 
Okay, whatever it was I did, it's now been rectified. Which is really good, because I, you know, live here, and like stashing my stuff here. So okay, they are heavy and I don't need them for now, but Longsword of Shattering and Thornblade, you guys are both being kept around. You might be useful down the line. So yes, on an appropriately dark and stormy night, I have indeed murdered all my best friends, and rather drawn a line under that chapter of my life in the Dark Brotherhood. And I suspect I'm about to learn what the future's going to look like. Oh, and hilariously, um, yes, Lucien Lachance just had uh, ten poisoned apples uh, right here for free that I could just take. So, okay, shouldn't have spent a grand uh, buying those ones before, but never mind, eh? Right, job done. Killed basically the entire Dark Brotherhood in Cyrodiil. Not sure how that's a good thing for us, uh, you know, members of the Dark Brotherhood, but please, do carry on. The Ritual of Purification is complete. Well done. Sithis has been appeased, and the time has come to acknowledge and reward your unwavering loyalty. The Black Hand is most pleased with your progress. You have been invited to share in secrets that few within the Dark Brotherhood even know exist. Your life in the Sanctuary is over. Those contracts are behind you. Now, you will serve the Black Hand. You will serve me. From this moment forward, you will walk in the shadows as my silencer. You will receive contracts only from me. Your new life has begun. Okay, but um, what precisely is the Black Hand? Is that... An organization, or a person, or like you. Everyone's been very vague on this. Your next contract can be found at the Dead Drop on Hero Hill, southeast of here. A hollow in the moss covered rock contains all you need to know. When you leave here, we will not speak again unless I deem it necessary. Ah, yes, there is one last thing. I have for you a very special gift. Waiting just outside is a magnificent steed named Shadowmere. She has served me well. I present her now to you as a token of my trust and love. Now go, and may Sithis guide you in this new stage of your life's dark journey. Okay, memories of my time in Skyrim have started to come back to me here, and... Uh... When you mention, you know, special horse Shadowmere outside. Oh, before we see that though, right, he is actually willing to explain what the bloody hell's going on. The Black Hand is the Dark Brotherhood's ruling council. That hand consists of four speakers and one listener. Four fingers and a thumb, as it were. This you already know. What is not commonly known among our family members is that Black Hand employs a few <laughs> additional numbers. As every hand has fingers, does not every finger have a nail, a claw, a talon? Every finger of the hand, every speaker has such a nail. These are the silences. Each speaker employs his or her own private assassin to extend their reach and strike forth as necessary. My previous silencer perished while fulfilling a contract. That emptiness has now been filled by you. It is an honor without equal. Okay, I'm just going to put a prediction in now. He's going to send me to kill the other fingers of the Black Hand, isn't he? But more importantly, step outside and come on. Come on, come on, come on. I've got a demon horse again. Oh, it's even got a tiny, tiny skull on its reins. Oh, that's adorable. So here we go. Should be somewhere around whatever this location is precisely. Oh, it's the old Bethesda classic, a hollowed out rock. So, head to Leafrot and kill a necromancer who has begun the process of transforming himself into a lich. 
So Kaodan has not yet completed the metamorphosis, but is still incredibly powerful, possibly too strong to kill her face directly. Okay, this sounds awesome, we're getting straight on with this. And there we go. When I've killed him, this scroll gives me the information as to where to get my reward and the next dead drop. So each one leads to the next. Okay, kind of in the middle of nowhere. So, okay, we'll start at Periite and just see what's in the way. Honestly, not too much of interest on route. I see one Oblivion Gate over there. We've done a one of you today. But yeah, with my speed as high as it is right now, I can just zoom across the open countryside in no time whatsoever. It's beautiful. So, alright, this should be Leaf Rot right about here. Okay, step one, figure out what's going on in the world and... Uh, Oh, it's ghosts. Okay, well that there, that's absolutely fine. You can kill ghosts, that's not a problem in the slightest. In fact, you know what, Nubo? And that is, uh, oh yeah, that's got a bit of a punch to it actually. Oh, and here we go, literally the first room, by any bloody chance. Yes, indeed, he's just left out on the table here, his journal giving me what he's doing, and I'm guessing how to stop it too, because... Uh, Okay, he wants to become a lich. The key seems to be transferring the soul into a physical object. Keep that object safe, you can't die, presumably. Okay, some bananas ranting about a goblin army marching on the Imperial City later. Here we go. He is slowly transferring his soul to whatever the Sands of Resolve are. But it's going to take a long time, and yes, it's not done yet as per the mission. So... We've got to find that and destroy it before we take on this lads. If the hourglass should somehow leave my person, the connection between soul and vessel would be severed. He's actually got it on his person, so... Oh, I am so glad I'm a master thief. Alright, down to the next level, Leaf Rot Hollow. Okay. All quiet for hello sexy. He's just wandering around uh, this area. So this should be pretty simple. Just get up to him, steal the thing, get back out again. He's walking back and forth. I should be able to get behind him uh, nice and easy. Current sneak level is uh, 84. So, okay, we can do better than that. All right, here he comes. Magic. Open. Get. In and around, straight to you, and boom, boom, walk away, and... Okay, I assume that was just going to weaken him. Instead, he just did a tiny hop and died. So, okay, I am very happy to be a very, very good thief, as it turns out. Brilliant. And the note did say go to Coral in the bushes under the Great Oak, so that is uh, right here. Let's see how much I get paid these days, because surely a silencer has got to make some good money. 500 gold. I won't say no. Oh, but I get the feeling that there, that was just the warm-up, and uh, yes, I had a much easier time of it, having already, you know, done a bit of work on my sneaking, etc. But... Oh, this sounds like another whodunit, because uh, once again, we're now having to take out an entire group of people, and we don't know where most of them are. So uh, go find the one person, get the location of uh, everybody else, and hunt them down one by one. Oh, well, that just sounds hilarious. Still, I would say that's enough for now. We have taken a big step forward with the Dark Brotherhood. Alright, I am now a silencer. I am now doing work for Lucian himself. I am almost certainly going to be caught up in some ridiculous interfinger conspiracy. But when it comes up, it comes up. We'll deal with that as it happens. And in the meantime, I'm just going to have a lot of fun hunting down and murdering an entire bloody family. So join me next time as we kick off with that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away!
Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.